So when I talk about climate change with people, I don't usually throw around figures about how many parts per million CO2 will increase or the number of degrees that will warm or the percent of species that will be threatened. I tend to try to find common ground. So if maybe I'm talking to someone who's an ice fisherman, um, we can talk about how early the ice is, is melting off of a lake and how shorter the fishing season is. Um, I talk about you know, my, my nephew who has asthma and how that's exacerbated on really hot days um, in, here in Colorado. And so I find that that kind of storytelling, um, you know, which has really been pioneered in, by people like Catherine Hayhoe, um, who's another climate scientist, um, we find that that's really effective actually in terms of getting people to care about the issue and potentially motivating them to change. Because we're all sort of motivated by, you know, what we experience in our daily lives. And the idea of climate change as sort of some scientific abstract concept is not something a lot of people identify with.